Okay guys, I am back. Now it's time for our, our next part of our card here. This is for the Jobber Championship between Sin Cara and Ali Ghirardelli. If you guys didn't see the last episode of this matchup, Ali got screwed out of a title thanks to a Code of Honor hit on me by me. And thus Sin Cara got it. Which means he's going to get a huge push, not as the Jobber Champion. But very soon, they say there's a big announcement from the from Vicky Guerrero. Here, so here comes Sin Cara. There we go. Our Jobber Championship match is next, and there he is, our Jobber Champion, Sin Cara, or Mystico. And here comes the former champion. And here comes the former champion. And there's Ali Ghirardelli, the former champion. Who could not believe he just lost his title. Lost his title, but for the first time in a while, we get to see him what happens when he doesn't have his championship. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Ali wants his belt back. But obviously, it's not going to happen. Because, well... We're having the three stages to help me and my, my creator wrestler will have a match with Ali at Over the Limit. And it'll be a three stages of hell. First stage of hell will be a steel cage match. Second sta stage of hell is going to be a hell in a cell match. And the third will be an inferno match at the pay-per-view. So here we go, I'll be playing a Sin Cara for this, so here we go. Oh, it's over, it's over. And of course Sin Cara may be drop, dropping the title. Good hurricane run right there. And what a... Ooh, by Ali. And so far, Sin Cara is taking it all the way here. And uh oh. Uh oh, and he got to the ropes. Nice try, Ali. And look at Ali. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Oh man, that would have been that would have been a great victory right there for C. Car to get this match done and over with. And Here we go, the Jobber Champion is making sure he keeps the belt away from Ali. That's all about, and he got a rope break.
and he botched. Go figure. And Sinkara boxed. Yet again. As Sinkara continues to drag this match out, this match should have been over by now. And look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! And that was a sub. This finisher is always going to be a submission. Great. And let's see, can he get a redemption shot here? Oh! Why? What do you mean his face? He's wearing a mask. So for this Jobber Championship and I think that's it. It's over. It's over. St. Carnival to retain. No, he got a rope break. And this guy is getting lucky. Now it's over. It's over. It's over. And guess what? Rope break again. Come on. Come on, Mr. Co. It's over. It's over. Hey, right, come on. Get enough of the rope breaks. Jeez. Now it could be over. Let's see. One, two, three. Sinkara retains. And Sinkara does his job. And he has to defend his title next against Unico. And Ollie has to get ready for his next match. Very soon. So coming up next is the our, our for only non our second and last non-title match of the evening. Jerry Bell versus Phoenix Wright. We know Jerry Bell is the, one of our star, stars of my NCAA 13 ser, coaching carousel series when I was with UAB before Quinn Pearson, Derek Harry. With Pitt Quinn Pearson and Derek Herring, along with Dante Jones, so this will be the first time we get to see Jerry's entrance in here. So without any further ado, and we all know how good Phoenix Wright is, so let's go. And uh, oh, phew, I thought the thing stopped again. Jerry Bell versus Phoenix Wright. So without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? So here comes Jerry Bell with the Chris Jericho-like entrance. There you see Jerry, he is very excited wearing his UAB jacket that he wears to before every football game he goes to. And here comes his opponent, the ace attorney himself, Phoenix Wright. Now we know his daughter Trucy's now in the catalog here, so these guys could be fighting for a potential ch a championship match in the very near future. Here we go. We're gonna play as Phoenix, cause guess what? We have it's been a while since we've seen his Phoenix character, of course. And of course, Phoenix Wright is quite possibly the more more popular.
characters that we have seen here and look at and look at Phoenix and wait where, where wait where is he going? Oh no. Whoa, what a move. And a holy you know what chant it's just broke out here. Break out, will counter out of it. Again? Are you serious? Got a rope break. So, Jerry, I don't know what's up with Jerry with his arm breaks, but some missions here, but. What are you gonna do? And, oh, don't mind, that's just an air conditioning. Just don't work. And guess what? What a body slam! Jeez. Oh man. And he's going to go for the pen. What? And nope. Here we go. Time for the signature. Look at that. Look at that. Wait a minute. Here it is, a DDT. A DDT. Wait a minute, hold on. DDT for Phoenix right one, two, three. Phoenix right wins. What an amazing match by Phoenix Wright. And look at the sportsmanship here as Jerry Bell's like, no, I don't got time for that. So it looks like we may see another bit of a match here from Phoenix Wright. But don't forget, we may have to recreate him in WWE 2K14 because, spoiler, we want a father-daughter tag team here. Who knows, maybe we can have a mixed tag team match. Championship here. And now it's time for our main event for the Intercontinental title. Yes, our Intercontinental title is going to be defended as our main event this evening. Or did I say early this morning? But hey, I got a lot of filming time before Monday Night Raw, so don't worry. It's going to be Randy Orton as the Intercontinental Champion versus Cody Rhodes. Let's see what happens if Cody Rhodes can get his beloved title belt back. But in order to get it back, he has to beat the Viper, Randy Orton. And there you see him with the Intercontinental belt. Ironically, the first championship belt he's ever won in WWE. Before he beat Chris Benoit in SummerSlam 2004. Event that wasn't held in Los Angeles. So here we go, time for our, time for our main event of the evening. As we get ready for Monday Night Raw. And there you see Randy with that Intercontinental belt. And here comes Cody Rhodes 
ready to get the belt back. So there you see Cody, a third generation superstar, gets ready to fight for the Intercontinental Championship, which has been defended on multiple occasions here, not on the show, but this particular show, but here we go, let's see if Cody can finally win an IC title match. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Hold on, let's restart. I wasn't prepared. There we go. We're going to play as Cody, since he is a baby face right now. Who I would play as Orton, but... And here we go. This match is underway. Black Widow, except AJ's not here. And now we better break it off. Cody, good missile drop kick. Look at this, this is so far, oh he sidestepped. Randy sidestepped. And look at this, Randy is getting very close to tapping out right here. Looks like, look at this. And Rand, as you can see, Cody screwed up. Russian leg sweep. Here we go. That's Cody's gonna go try going up top again, and this time he will nail him again. Figure four. Made famous by the Nature Boy Ric Flair and Randy. That's fought his fought his way out there, ladies and gentlemen. to break it out again. And so 
so far not doing so good for Cody. That's a reversal. One, two. And look at Cody. Gets death attack by Orton. There it is. There it is. One, two. Nope. And Let's see. One, two. There it is. One. And again. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, Randy's gonna come back. Look at this. Nope, not gonna work. No one else is gonna work. This. Look at this. Look at this. Crossroads. Crossroads from Cody Rhodes. Crossroads. It's all. I think we got it. One, two. Brady Cody's the new Intercontinental Champion. For the third time, the Intercontinental title has changed hands. What the? Christian! Gap de Charisma. Christian! Looks like at Over the Limit, we may have a triple threat intercontinental title match. Now, the next question is, what do you guys think? Should, should, be, should it be the pre-show, or should it be on the card? Type it in in the comments below. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting very close to over the limit. And there you see the Intercontinental title. Cody Rhodes did win it. So, now let's take a look at the cards here. We got... Oh, boy. We got Lita Jones. She's finally in here, along with Sally Mae. Number one contenders match. Why, why is there a number one contenders match? Well, Cody... Wait. Who's the number one contender for? What? Uh, hello, Ted DiBiase's already... We can make it a United States Championship match while we're... I mean, he's already the millionaire. Oh, tables. You know what, actually, we can make this a... We can make this a... You know what, guys? I'll see you guys for Raw. See you guys.